Hi and welcome to this Landworks CAD tutorial. My name is Cedra and today I am going to explain how the scale operation works in Landworks CAD. I will also show you how to get your drawing ready for printing. Now here I have a simple property plan and I want to print it out on an A3 size paper sheet. Now let's say I want to insert the A3 size paper sheet here in this drawing. So I will go to the components and I'm going to insert the A3 size paper sheet, let's say this one. And I'm going to click OK. Now can you see the A3 size paper sheet attached to my cursor? Can you see the size of it? How small it is as compared to the whole drawing here. It is so small that it can even fit on this table here. So this is the real size of an A3 size paper sheet and that size is really small as compared to the whole drawing. That is why we need to scale the whole drawing so that we can fit it on an A3 size paper sheet. Now as I need to print out this drawing, I can just go to this layout option and click on the new layout option here. Here in the name I can just give any descriptive name. Let's say layout plan 01. Here I can just select any paper size but I need to print it out on an A3 paper size so I'll just make sure that I'm selecting the horizontal A3 paper size not the vertical. So I'll click here. I will not change the width and the height. The title block needs to be the exact same size as the paper size so it needs to be A3 as well. So I'm going to browse and I'm going to select the same title sheet that I used before. So I'm going to click open and now I'm going to click OK. Now right now I cannot see my drawing because I'm not in the top view, I'm in the layout view. So in order to see the top view, I can just double click on this pane or I can go to window and click on tile and I will be able to see my top view here. Now here I still cannot see the top view because I haven't inserted a window in my title sheet or title block. So in order to insert that window I'm going to click here which is the add view port option and now I'm going to select top from here because I want this window to open on the top view. So I'm going to select the top view here. View scale. This is the scale factor and it's very important. The scale factor is the number of times we are shrinking the drawing to make it fit on a paper size. So let's say I want to leave it 50 right now. I'm going to click OK. And now I'm going to follow the prompt. Select the first corner of the view clip boundary. So I'm going to select the first corner here. Now I'm not clicking anywhere. I'm just dragging my mouse and I will select the second corner of the view. So I'll click. And that is how this window is going to appear and it's going to show me my top view. Now in this window as you can see the scale is not right. It's 50. It means that the drawing is shrinking in size 50 times. I want the drawing to shrink more so that I can see it all in my viewport or the window. Now this concept can be explained very easily by just having a look at this drawing. Now in this drawing the scale factor is 1 by 50. Now this is my top view and this is the A3 size title sheet. It's like a window and I can see my drawing through this window. Now right now the scale is 1 by 50. It means that the drawing has moved a little bit away and I can see a part of that drawing but I cannot see the whole drawing. Here I have increased the scale to 1 by 200. It means that if I look through the title sheet, I will probably be able to see the whole drawing because it has moved further away. And when I'm going to look through this title sheet, my drawing is going to appear 200 times smaller in size. As you increase the scale factor, you are increasing the distance between your drawing and the paper. The further back you push your drawing, the smaller your drawing will look in paper and when it's printed. So this is the whole concept of scaling. Now let's go back to our file here. Here I'm going to change the scale factor to 200. So I'm going to double click on any of these points here. So just double click 
and this is going to open up. This is the scale factor. I'm going to change it to 200 and I'm going to click OK. Now can you see that? The drawing has moved further away from the title sheet and now if I look through the title sheet onto the drawing, I will be able to see it and that drawing will be shrinked 200 times its original size. Now it's too small for the title sheet so I'm just going to double click on this dot again and I'm going to change the scale factor to 100. Can you guess what is going to happen? If I click OK, this drawing is going to come a little bit closer. It means that this drawing is being shrinked 100 times instead of 200 times now as I look through the title sheet. Now the size of the drawing is OK but it's not in the center of the title sheets. So in order to move it in the center of the title sheet I'm going to click on this option that says pan and viewport. So now I'm going to follow the prompt select the 3D view on a layout drawing to scroll. So I'm going to click on any of these dots here and now it says locate the start of the scroll. So I want the middle of this drawing to move in the center of the title sheet. So I'll click in the middle here and I'm going to click in the center of the title sheet. And that is how my drawing is going to be moved in the center of the title sheet. Now I hope you understood the concept. If you have any kind of questions, please feel free to comment on the video or you can email me as well. If you like the video, please hit the like button and please subscribe to our channel. I will be waiting for your comments. Thank you for watching my video. Have a great day.